Hi, I'm Martin Featherstone, I'm Chief Executive at Gwent Association of Voluntary Organisations, or GAVO. I've been in post for three and a half years. Um, we're a county voluntary council, um, of which there are 19 across Wales. Um, GAVO is, is the largest of the 19, working across four local authority areas in Gwent, um, so Monmouthshire, Blind Gwent, Newport and Caerphilly. As an organisation, we employ 130 staff working across various projects. Uh, our key aim is to support, um, improve the lives and opportunities of the communities we work with. That's essentially our, our mission. Um, we achieve that and work towards that through particular strategic aims, which include making progress around volunteering, um, supporting third sector organisations to, to thrive and develop. Um, and we do that by providing specific support, for example, in the area of funding, training. We're, we're governed by a board of trustees. Uh, many of those trustees have experience of um, working in third sector organisations, so they're embedded in the third sector. Over six years ago, when the Community Voice programme was initially developed and designed by the Big Lottery, GAVO worked with voluntary and community groups through consultation to bring them together to work out a portfolio of projects that would deliver on the outcomes of the programme. The two portfolios that were successful were Valley Voices, working across Blind Gwent and Caerphilly, and Newport and Monmouthshire Engage. And within those two portfolios, there are a total of 19 projects delivered by 12 different third sector organisations, representing a really diverse range of people, which shows the strength of delivering this portfolio in the third sector. The key themes of the two portfolios focus on health and wellbeing and reducing inequalities. The portfolio began in July 2013 with staggered start dates for a number of projects and all projects will be completed by March 2018. The Big Lottery invested £2.8 million in citizen engagement through these portfolios and to date the projects have worked with 3,500 beneficiaries across all areas. The projects have worked with a range of statutory partners from the Health Board to Police, South Wales Fire and Rescue and covered a number of policy consultations and issues such as accessibility, transport, housing, health and most recently have been supporting the Public Services Board with its assessment of well-being. The key outcomes of the Community Voice portfolios are all about engagement and participation, ensuring that service users have a real voice in making changes to the way that services are designed and delivered. Recently, projects have been involved in budget setting, for example, which has helped public services in understanding the community and the citizen voice when they're setting their budgets and looking at what services need to be delivered. With the backdrop of the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act and the statutory duty of public bodies to involve people and citizens in planning services and also to assess the well-being of an area and develop a well-being plan, it's more important than ever that we look at how we engage with citizens and make sure that their voices are heard and are listened to and acted upon in terms of planning for future generations. Another part of the Act is about prevention and sustainability and through these projects and this portfolio we can see the real difference and the change that people can really make to their lives and to services that they access. The following films demonstrate the impact and the outcomes of the Community Voice Project and particularly look at the beneficiaries and their journey and how the Community Voice Project has changed their lives.